Uh, congratulations. Uh, what was it like for you to be able to know that you made that active roster and had an opportunity to get into a game? Uh, first and foremost, I just want to say, uh, uh, send out prayers to Jock's family. Uh, I know it's our time for them. Uh, but, I mean, I was riding down on the bus with uh, GM, uh, one of the GMs, uh, Brendan Gomes, and he told me that morning that I was active and that I'd be playing in, uh, in place for Jock that day. Or I wouldn't be playing, but I'd be on the roster. I would imagine that's a dream realized for you. How'd you take the news? Uh, good. I text my family, let them know that I was going to be active and that they should probably tune in a little bit and see if I get that at bat or uh, find a way on the field. When I talked to you in summer camp, you said one of the things that you were working on was breathing a little bit more in the box and trying to calm your legs below you. Have you made progress in those areas? Um, yesterday was a little tough. Uh, I mean, I was uh, standing up there for a little bit. I was Manny Machado tried to walk up, was walking over to third base, and then it kind of just hit me like a tsunami, just of emotions, and just you know, looking back on uh, the years of baseball and you know the work you put in, uh, all those winners and the cold winners, going you know, and waking up early, all that stuff. It's it kind of all hit me at once, and uh, my nerves were shooting through the roofs, and, and uh, my heart was beating hard, and. Yeah, just breathing, and I was trying to get focused in. I uh, thought I had an all right at bat, um, swung at good pitches that were in the strike zone, and uh, he just made made a really good pitch that last pitch. How do you think you will reel in those emotions moving forward and realize it's the same game that you grew up playing? Yeah, uh, JT was talking to me after my bat yesterday. He's like, hey, man, I struck out my first at bat too. So uh, he knows what. <laughs> He, he was just telling me about his story and uh, his first about or his first hit and his first start and all that stuff. It definitely helps having a veteran tell me to pat you on the back and tell you everything's going to be all right and uh, that he was right there in the same spot as you one time and I was a 10-year big leaguer. So uh, that's always great to have. Yeah, 10-year big leaguer and over 1,000 hits. What have you worked on since the last time we spoke at the secondary site uh, in between summer camp and your major league debut yesterday? What's been the biggest focus for you? Uh, just trying to get reps at all my all the positions that I play. Uh, a lot of reps at shortstop, um, a lot of reps in the outfield. Uh, just trying to maintain that and uh, keep keep learning every day from that. Just when I would come up on the taxi squad, uh, Mookie Betts would talk to me a little bit about the outfield and just taking those things over there and trying to work on them. And uh, with the bats, just you know trying to stay patient. Um, guys weren't really throwing strikes over there, so. It was tough to uh, have, like, a great at bat. Um, and you're trying to get hits. You don't want to walk. Uh, they're kind of just simulated games. So you kind of want to see what your swing's doing over there. But uh, it, was, it was kind of tough um, some days. Um, but other days were better than other. Or some, it's baseball, so uh, you know how it goes. <laughs> well, congratulations. Good luck to you. Thank you. Go ahead, Ron. Hey, Zach, I'm sure when you envision your major league debut, there's, you know, family and friends in the crowd and everything like that. I'm just curious you know, what it's like to, to debut in the midst of a, of a pandemic. Yeah, I mean, uh, just, you know, you have more focus on the field and uh, you don't really have to worry about the fans uh, chiming in as much. And uh, you kind of look out on the field. Uh, for me, I look around the field before my bat. That was probably a bad idea. <laughs> I looked out and saw Tatis and, Manny Machado and uh, those guys, and it was it was pretty surreal um, feeling when you're stepping in the box there. What the what the family have to say about everything? Uh, you know, my dad uh, had some encouraging words, and just uh, they were happy for me, and uh, just you know they were hope, hoping I was going to get a hit, but obviously it didn't happen. But uh, yeah, just they told me to stick with it, and uh, they'll come. Just have good at bats. You talked a little about the alternate site. Um, in a normal year, if you were getting called up at this time, you probably would have played, you know, a, a ton of minor league games, real minor league games. How hard is that to go from that simulated setting to all of a sudden you're you're hitting in a in a pennant race? Yeah, I mean that's it's tough. Uh, it's definitely a hard transition, not playing any games all year, and then you know all that all those emotions kind of just hit you all at once and. Uh, you're not really sure how, how to deal with it at the time. Uh, you have your breathing 
stuff you go through and uh, for me and then just trying to pick up a spot on my bat and just tell myself, hey, like you've been here before, you've had a 2-2 count, like just kind of stick with it and uh, see a good pitch and try to drive it through the middle of the field. And uh, But, yeah, I mean, that's that's all you can tell yourself and uh, just hope that the, the stuff you've been doing, the progress you've been doing, working on over there just kind of relates into the games here. Thank you. Next question is from Eric Steven. Go ahead. Zach, I was I was wondering um, if your the previous time you were called up for a day uh, did that at all help your nerves or I guess any of the times you were on the taxi squad just sort of being around being able to like soak it in a little bit uh, did that help at all yesterday? Um, <laughs> I was thinking more of like uh, it probably uh, I mean built up those emotions even more. Uh, it's kind of like if you're at a amusement park and you were standing in line and the amusement ride in the ride you really wanted to ride on kind of shut down on you and you were like this third person in line to get get on the ride and you had to wait two or three weeks or a month to go back on that ride uh so i mean if if you can relate to that um that's probably one of my best like the best way i could probably relate it to thanks yeah next question is from jack harris go ahead Hey, Zach, um, you know, a lot of guys drafted in your year now uh, are up on the big league roster. I mean, what is it, what has it been like seeing guys that you're drafted with sort of progress? Like how close of a group is that, um, the guys drafted in your year? And um, just kind of what is it like seeing, you know, a lot of young guys, uh, you know, being back with them now on the, on the MLB team? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It makes the clubhouse seem a lot better uh, when you have guys that you've come up through the system, like through the minor leagues with and, uh, get to get to play with them and put a Dodger even from one with them and just you have that same goal through all the way through and uh, you, you make it a reality. Thank you. Got time for one more. Go ahead, Ron. Uh, uh, Zach, first and foremost, uh, congratulations. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of people pulling for you along your journey. Uh, and during that journey, uh, is there any one person who inspired you the most to, to stick with it and really uh, keep going? I mean, if I had to point out one guy, it was probably uh, Hennessy from our, our double-A manager. He really uh, locked me in and had confidence in me and was really rooting for me every, way, every step of the way last year and uh, just kind of drilled that confidence into me and uh, tried to make me the best player I could be every day and uh, he wanted me out there competing as hard as I could every day. And he told me that after even a bad game, that I was a second baseman the next day. It didn't matter what I did and uh, just played hard. And that definitely helped me, uh, helped me with my confidence and moved me, uh, moved my progress even farther uh, in, in, in the locker room around the guys and uh, even in the big league locker room and just having the confidence to ask them questions and uh, go out through the day and, uh, have that same routine. I, I would.